Hey man, it's the greatest 2K player in existence. I done heard that Agent Zero has done an interview with young Mike Wayne for NBA 2K21 News. Finally, what is it like? Thirty days till the game comes out, and we finally get to hear devs actually talk about the game. That's crazy, man. We are going to watch this and check it out. I do not even know how to work 2K TV. Aerial powers and Agent Zero. We gonna see, okay? Um, we gonna see what this is about. But um, before we get into it, man, make sure y'all hit up that like button, man. Let's try and get a thousand likes, 24 hours. Subscribe if you new. 300k on the way. And um, yeah, let let let's check this out. Let let's discuss this. <laughs> I don't know about no WNBA. What the hell? Show me something, my boy. What's good? Look at LD smiling at. <laughs> bro, what is this? Hold on. How how do you skip, bro? Finally, man, I've been skipping through this. God damn. Why none of y'all tell me that this came out last night? I bet you're all wondering the same thing. What is NBA 2K21 all about? Let's see, man. And next gen. Finally, man. Tell, tell me so. Developers to ask. Gameplay director Mike Wayne joins us. Here. Mike Wayne! How are you? Hey, it's great to see you guys. <laughs> How has development been staying at home during this tough period? Oh man, it's been a whirlwind. I mean, great like, leap. You know, I think at first it was whirlwind. A Whirlwind's leap. Oh. We're all trying to learn the ropes, and you know, over time it's gotten smoother and smoother, and now we're pretty much. 100% efficiency and we're we're going strong. We're so excited to have you back on the show as always, but Mike, I know you can't give away everything, but the big question has been is Tell me some. It's going to be the same game but 2.0. What can uh -oh. you tell us? Next game but It's absolutely not, Alexis. And oh. I think that's something that we're so excited about is that you know, we've actually taken the current gen version of the game and we split development between uh, BC Novato and our studio in BC LA, Nevada. BC South. What? And so they've done a great job just taking that game to the next level while the team in Novato is focused on the next gen version. You're gonna find wait, wait, that what? the next gen game is gonna be everything that you have in the current gen version, but just so much more in terms of like what you can do, the breadth of the title. Wait, different so dev teams? Content, so much it just feels completely different. So it's a very different beast and um, you know, if you have the means, I highly recommend okay. for all our fans to save up for that next gen version. That's gonna be okay, we, we gonna yeah, see. Mike, with all this new technology, what does that mean for gameplay in NBA? Finally, for the next generation, can we get some yeah, gameplay? You know what? Whenever we have a new console year, that's something that always excites us as developers because we're always able to look and, and kind of dream bigger. And uh, for us, it just meant you know faster processing and it meant more memory and um, just the ability to do things that we couldn't do in. Okay, generation. we gonna see, so, my boy. Um, for us, it's. I think the big next step you're going to see is just immediately when you play the game, it's going to feel completely different. From there, we're able to just add so much more on top of that to make it feel even better. So. You right, you literally specific. literally said nothing. Come on, bro. Modes, anything new that you can tell us about? Tell me so. We didn't want to unveil too much new stuff today uh, with new modes, but one thing I will say is that fans of the WNBA are going to be very excited uh, for what we're bringing to the table with next year. Uh oh, female my players leak. Female my players leak. Hey man, it, it's it. Y'all, y'all, let me know down in the comments if y'all think uh, female my players are gonna be leaked. Cause didn't they already have the WNBA teams or whatever in twenty, bro? Probably, you know, we gonna have a bunch of female my players. <coughs> I'm pretty sure every cheese head is gonna be a female. But hey, man, y'all, let me know what y'all, how y'all feel about that, and let me know if you's gonna be, you still gonna be a nigga, or you gonna pick a female. Obviously, the 2K community wants to know more about 2K21, so we wanted to invite one member yeah. of the 2K community on the show today. How did, how did, bro, how does Agent not have a logo, but he gets to go on 2K TV to interview the dev? That's crazy, right? That, it don't make no sense. Welcome, Agent Double Zero to 2K <laughs> what has been up lately? Uh, Agent will cut, yeah. To be honest with you. Um, that's really been a big agent moment from when big I view just working on some kind of different video and Mike you've been ghost man we've been we've just been like man where Mike at we just want to hear something from Mike I can either tweet or I can make a game my man Word. And we'd rather have you <laughs> nah make a tweet stop capping as we come to a close on 2k21 
what was your you make some part tweets, nigga. Um, honestly, my favorite part is just playing with my friends. And then, like, <laughs> I'm the part most of the time, anyway. Uh, that nigga H W A Park, bro. Oh. Um, so I'm just looking for new park experiences. But actually, this is Matt underrated. Is team up. I found out I like team, team up. Up's amazing, really bro. That side of things. Damn. Team up's always been the most fun mode in in 2K, bro. Like that ass. I was, I was, yeah. I played a game with you, LD. And I was like, man, this is a genuine good time. And yeah, LD, you put me on. I'm not gonna lie, you was out there balling with Kobe. Yeah, we got those. I dropped LD off. Yeah, absolutely. So you represent the 2K community right now. If there's anything <laughs> you could ask Mike, what would it be? It's all gonna be things you can't say. Like, when's it dropping? Like, like I need to know everything, man. Like, yeah, you, Mike, just want you to know you are appreciated. I know the devs don't hear that all the time. But Get I to the questions, day agent. In, day out. Appreciate it, agent. What, what kind of questions are you asking specifically? Like, yo, when's the game released? No! PS4, PS4. Agent! What are you doing? PS4, when's the PS5 on release? Uh, is there gonna be gameplay differences? Well, I can't talk about release dates yet. Um, <laughs> Uh, a little bit later than delay yeah for next gen we're talking next gen uh um, oh, next gen gameplay differences there's gonna be a lot gameplay differences gonna be a lot unpluckable finally works leaked that is but they share the same kind of dna but next gen just has a lot more of everything what's been your focus going into the okay. year how can we make the game fun you know, yes please dumb, hey hey that that sounds nice make the game fun they be trying to cut too much out cut these animations out you know just killing playmakers killing dribblers you know just you know just making it less fun bro you feel me and it shouldn't be like that they they they, they taking out the key element of basketball just because little old heads and you know people just want to whine because they they, they get an iso my boy you feel me crazy a lot of times are from the dev from the dev standpoint we're like how can we get make the game more realistic or how can we make it look more like you know what we see on tv mm -hmm. and sometimes those things aren't equal right sometimes a really fun game is not necessarily the most realistic game um right. so we 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 went to you know through a lot I guess of it was three meetings and the, the design ideas of like well you know what's not fun in 2k a lot um and we got called out by you know some nba post scores what was like fun. badge grinding badge grinding <laughs> good good shit aj like hey, y'all comment down below what y'all think is not fun in NBA 2K as a whole, man. The ball, yeah, throwing the ball away on cherry pick passes. Right. Things you didn't have control over. That's dope, oh, actually. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. They gonna fix the wait, actually, bro. Cherry pick passes. Um, I don't know, I'm not too sure for Pro Am. Well, actually, yeah, because I played plenty of Pro Am, but I, I usually catch all the balls. Pause. And um, for Park, it's kind of like OP, bro. You could throw, look, everyone try this, come back to this video and let me know if it works. You can throw a full court pass on the threes all the way down the court and he will catch it almost every time. Like it could be a little sneak play to score real quick. It's literally AIDS. Makes no sense. What I like to hear. And this is the first <coughs> time for you guys in a while where you had like a generation jump. Is there anything like you're real excited about? There's hey, agent done lost some weight. That shit crazy, right? Skinny agent on the way. Really cool stuff with movement. I'll say that. Really uh, cool stuff with movement. Iso back. There are skilled players gonna be rewarded. Not these paint beasts, these locks, these fading sharp, sharp, these fading shot creators and sharps. These stretch bigs. Are playmakers coming back? The, the movement and the feel of the game from current gen to next gen is like this giant mm. okay um, and on top of that you know i'm not a graphics guy i'm not an artist but when <laughs> i look at it as a fan of the game i'm like man i'm blown away by what that team man is. i don't it's care about no graphics incredible. like the lighting looks crazy the, the details and the texture of the skin yeah. everything is so lifelike <laughs> So Agent, <laughs> Agent getting excited on graphics, Captain. Uh, you've been really vocal about gameplay in a lot of the videos and the content that you create. Play a lot of plan <laughs> and play a lot of park. What's one thing you want to see improved on from a gameplay? Come standpoint? on, Agent, don't there sell. There needs to be like a variety of like effective animations. Yes. What I saw happen a couple times in 2K20 was when there was something like that behind the back, everybody was spamming it. When that was nerfed, it's like now there's really nothing to use. I prefer if there was more... Y'all answer that question down in the comments. 
effective animations. If that Facts. Makes sense. But Facts. Hey, so I like the animation thing, but the thing is, what we got to realize, bro, is people are always going to copy the waves. What's more, what's the meta? It, it's always going to happen every year, bro. It happened in... It didn't happen in 14 because YouTube wasn't really popping like that. Started happening in 15. People started catching on. Then it started happening in 16 and then 17. But but still, people had other options. Now with this year, it is like no, I know you know no real options, man. And a little bit earlier is uh, it's a video game, and I know the balance can be kind of difficult sometimes because you want it. It's a simulation game. You want it to be like real life. But when I am playing video games, I'm playing to have fun. Honestly, I like it when the game is fun. We need fun, not toxic. You feel me? Predictability, you know? Fast paced. Uh, when the game oh, is fast paced. That, that's beautiful, Agent. Game has to be fast paced. They keep slowing down the game to help these little fucking rats. You know, get their skill up. You know, they decrease the skill gap so they can use strategy to win. To slow down it kind of just yeah. feels like man those aren't they you need to be yeah athletic. No, yeah I mean, athletic. let them know to have, but you know it's always about coming back uh, to ld the cutting fans. them all mike now this is your chance to ask agent a question maybe about gameplay or 2k20 or 2k21 what's on your mind mike this idea of esports you know yeah i know a lot of people complain about dice rolls and missing full whites like do you think that's something we need to go like to the extreme with what i'm scared of i guess go like to the extreme team pro or something go to the extreme so that they need to go to the extreme with um shooting bro but they're they never will bro and if they do they're just gonna you know appease to the casuals and, and the complainers and soft people but if they really want a skill gap and a fun gap they need to increase the shooting difficulty in the game bro you don't get a perfect release you'll miss every single that's time. beautiful like, is that an experience you think people will want? I just... uh, look, I see a lot of people say they want that on Twitter. I want it. I want it. Me. Right? But I don't I don't think a lot of people want that. They might want that in a in this easy shooting difficulty, bro. Because shooting is extremely easy. It's really easy to get a green almost every time, right? But if they make it to where it's not so easy to get a green. They're gonna cry, bro. They're gonna cry. It, it is, but I, I think that's the the best way to go. It's the most closest to the the highest skill gap two Ks, and it's definitely the way to go, bro. And it's a lot more fun when people just can't cheese, and they actually have to have some skill to win, not just thirty badge shooting builds, ninety nine three. And they just throw up shots and they use these tactics with 99 rebounding. It's, it's trash, bro. You feel me? Divide it up. I mean, that's what a lot of games do. So it's like, you know how when you're choosing, you, you log into the games, like what difficulty you're going to play on. It's like, if there's a fun, unranked mode where it's not, it doesn't have to have a huge skill gap. You're just in there to have a good time with your friends. And when you go ranked, it's yeah. like, oh, now we're getting serious. Like, you can't Let's mess look up at mics. in a ranked mode. Um, I feel like that's the only way to keep like both sides of the people happy the casual people that just want to hop on the game and have fun and the competitive guys are y'all casual or competitive let me know down in the comments who are in there to try and get as good as humanly possible i think you knew that though mike <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like the year. uh i don't know i don't i don't i don't think there's gonna be a, a ranked and uh casual mode bro a ranked and unranked mode man you know he was swallowing and you know, looking down, I don't know, man. The LD cheesing, I don't know. Alexis look like she don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. Last thing, Agent, if you had one thing that you could wish for in NBA 2K21, that would be... Proximity chat, because it's real. Oh, it's oh yeah. And if you're worried about the toxicity, there should be a mute feature. Mm. I've been begging for it, man. So if it ends up in the game, I'd be the most excited person ever. There it is. Agent Double Zero, thank you so much for joining us today on 2K TV. That's it? Mike, thank you as well. Every time you're on, we are all listening and paying attention. Oh, thanks so much for having me. It's exciting being here and seeing you guys. Man, you got to tell us more. Go get back to it right now.
Yeah, it was awesome, and thank you so much for talking to the 2K. Mike, DM me, bro. So much, and like they said, let me help you. Recognize you. We all recognize you. You're doing a great job, and we cannot wait for next gen and uh, this next 2K21 launch. Appreciate it, and we hope the community loves all the effort that's going in because there's going to be some great stuff for them this year. How excited are y'all on a scale of one to ten? On NBA 2K21. I am here joined by Snipes 24. Who the fuck is the this? Most, my league online wins. Snipes, how you pulling <laughs> off all these W's, man? Man, I don't know, man. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Like, the the fuck my league. <laughs> what? All right, we are catching up with the NBA 2K21. What is this? Talking about NBA 2K21. Isn't supposed to be some my team stuff? Pretty loves devs are saying. Who the hell is this? My team news. Give it to us. Yeah, what's up, Chris? What's up, Alexis? I've got some tidbits. Okay, we going we gonna listen to this uh, my team. Things that you'll be interested in. I know evolution cards were big on the scene coming into 2K20, and now going bro, into I don't 2K21. Know. What is an evolution card, bro? You'll have a little more control on some of those evolution cards. So, how would you like to be able to choose? how some of those cards evolve what how do you what is this yeah, fans were really pumped about <laughs> bruh I, last year, so i've never played a my team game bro turning in 2k21 blake i know you play my team what were some of your favorite evo cards this year yeah big my team guy my favorite uh throughout i don't the care was awesome and then another i mean you and i big kobe fans so that evo kobe i'm um, gonna evolve that card sure and there's also going to be new ways to compete as well so you're gonna want to keep your eyes out for that blake you and i know the community loves that competition in my team what where's the, the news give you in terms of insight into competitive my team well you will be competing for championship rings in nba 2k21 that's it that's all i can say but what the hell is that ways to play and compete in my team that's like it sound of that <laughs> I know really about is that what carries over from current gen to next gen yeah, yeah that, that's big i mean you oh, can start playing yeah. on current gen on september but 4th, they can't do it for park though get finesse cards keep going on your progressions and then finesse over to the next gen and you get finesse your progression your cards your my points your vc and your tokens all carry over to next gen yeah, I know one thing the community was absolutely asking for is that sense of progression and putting in that time and having it pay off between generations. So that's a great thing to hear. Yeah, so but not for the part community. In my team and I don't know, man. That's the end of the video, man. I was expecting a lot more news from, from people that, that, that hyped it up to me, my boy. But um, overall, bro, I think that shooting the, the ratings, bro, people with 50 shot, 40, 30 shouldn't be able to hit like a 95 three i don't care if they're in the corner bro there has to be a dramatic difference like like seriously man like eh, it's getting old man they've been doing it since 2k17 i hope they go with that only green thing and then make greens like hard to get and i think 2k will be a, a lot more fun bro but anywho make sure y'all subscribe if you new. hit that like button turn on post notice Follow all my social media down in the description. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my new channel. Follow me on Twitch. And uh, I'm out this, homie.